All right, all right. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, we just want to thank everyone for joining us here um, for this lunch hour break to learn a little bit more about the uh, paralegal program here at the University of Miami. In this virtual information session is brought to you by the Division of Continuing and International Education here at the university. And so again, thank you so much for joining us. So in this session, um, we want to hold it to about 60 minutes. We want to respect your time. We are going to be recording this. So if for any reason you are unable to continue forward with us or if you lose connection, um, you will be receiving a, a recording of this um, presentation. So be mindful of that. Also, um, you may see that we have a question a Q and a section here within WebEx. Feel free to drop any questions that you have in there. Um, we will answer them at the end of the session. Um, so stay tuned for that. Also, if you have any questions that you want to speak to someone directly about immediately, we actually have our phone lines open. Um, you can speak directly with an enrollment advisor by calling the number on the screen there, 305-284-4000, and they'll be able to help you. Also, please join us um, on social media. Um, interact with us, network with us. Learn a lot about the programs that are offered here through continuing studies and University of Miami abroad. Um, we have Twitter, we've got Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, connect, learn more about what we have to offer. All right, as mentioned, um, this program, the Paralegal Studies Certificate, is offered by the Division of Continuing and International Education. If you're not familiar with the division, we have over 70 credit and non-credit certificate programs, um, varying in things from coaching, cybersecurity, we've got business certificates, leadership. Um, we have classes for students in high school all the way through retirement age. So if you're interested in learning more about what we have to offer, please visit our website at dcie.miami.edu and you, uh, you can see the link uh, posted right down there below. All right, and so um, I'm going to go ahead and introduce Tammy Clearfield. Tammy is the UM Paralegal Lead Program program Lead. Um, Tammy is a practicing attorney. She's got over two decades of experience in teaching paralegals, so you're in for a real treat here. Uh, Tammy, welcome to the panel. Thank you very much, everybody, and good morning, good afternoon. Thank you for giving us your time and for your interest in learning more about the University of Miami's paralegal program. I know we mentioned that we're going to hold questions until the end. You are able to use the Q&A box to post your questions throughout the webinar. So as things arise that you have questions about, please go ahead and post your questions and we'll circle back to them during Q&A. There are a few questions in there right now that I do want to answer because they have to do with technical aspects. Somebody posted asking if we can hear you. No, we can't. All of the participants are muted, so don't worry if your volume is showing on your end. We can't hear you on ours. And in terms of the video, you should be seeing video, which is the PowerPoint presentation and the presenters and hearing the audio. So if you're not, you could try to log out and back in, or you can just listen for the audio if you're having technical problems and we will be able to circulate the link after the webinar. So again, let's go ahead and get started. A bit about me really quickly. I am a practicing attorney, as Jonathan mentioned, for over two decades. I have been teaching paralegals, undergraduate and graduate, and developing curriculum for my entire law career, as well as continuing my studies as well. So in addition to my law degree, I have a master's degree and a PhD in conflict analysis and resolution. So I'm thrilled to have the position at University of Miami as the paralegal program lead and be able to bundle all of that practice and academic experience and bring it to the University of Miami's paralegal program. So let's talk a bit about what we're gonna explore today in this webinar. We will explore the financial and employment outlook for the paralegal profession. So in Michelle, congratulations, you picked a great profession with tons of diverse career opportunities and great advancement opportunities, all sorts of employment opportunities for every single sector. 
and excellent potential for growth. We're going to detail the key features and areas of focus of the University of Miami's paralegal certificate program, which includes differentiating this program from some of the other offerings out there. With the application based focus of the program, experience the interactive study support provided to enhance and reinforce learning throughout the program. Learning is important, but it should also be fun and engaging and timely. We have managed to thread all of those different facets into the University of Miami's paralegal program, make it as real life as possible while still adding neat virtual components that account for every different learning. So we will track through some of that so you can see a bit about how the material is presented. And again, that is one of the differentiating factors for the university's program. And we'll examine the connections between the, the program learning and career readiness to embark on the variety of legal and professional career paths that are available to you. So we want to make sure that you're very prepared to leave our doors, whether they're virtual or brick and mortar, which in the pandemic brick and mortar is virtual um, and transition and be able to hit the ground running in a law office setting and be successful. So we want to set you up in a way that you feel prepared and set up for success as you either transition to a new career or look to advance in a career that you're currently in. So welcome to the University of Miami's Paralegal Certificate Program and the Virtual Paralegal Zone. This is part of the segue or gateway that shows you how we bring that learning to life, make it real life, and make it fun and impactful. So the University of Miami's Paralegal Certificate Program prepares participants to successfully work as paralegals in a variety of industry. That word success is very important. So that requires taking a building block approach to give you those foundational skills and that foundational knowledge you need to serve as the basis to continue to build and develop more advanced concepts and advanced skills. Kind of like building a house, you don't get to start with the roof. You start with the foundation and you build it all the way up. And that's the approach that we take here in the university's paralegal program. So paralegals are integral members of the legal team. I can attest to that with 20 years of experience. When my paralegal tells me she's going on vacation, I cringe. And that's what you want your employers to say about you because you're that good at your job. You have key roles and responsibilities that impact people's lives every day. Not one of your work days will ever be the same because no two cases are exactly the same. People come to you with real life problems and they rely on you as part of the legal team to help them with whatever their concern is or whatever their legal matters are. So you conduct interviews, investigate case details, participate in the discovery process, draft pleadings, briefs, and motions. Lay out legal arguments, analyze cases, perform legal research. These are all areas that we teach you about here at the University of Miami's paralegal program, and we give you the skills that you need in core areas of law and advancements in areas like technology. So let's talk about the structure of the program. The foundations portion of the program is focused on those core building block skills. You'll learn about the paralegal profession, the role of the paralegal, the legal system, because to know how to work in the system, you need to understand the system. Terminology, so the language of the law is very different than the language we speak every day. So that core foundation understanding in terminology is very important. You're going to learn about substantive and procedural law. Substantive is the nuts and bolts and procedure is the how to. You're going to learn about what finish lines look like and ethics, which is a cornerstone of the legal profession, no matter what you do and what contact you have. Conflict checking, case screening, information gathering, client interviews, technology, software, calendaring, billing, ethics. Pre-filing work, so informal settlement negotiations where the majority of cases are resolved. Court structures and rule navigation, that'll be the first chance to dig into actual rules and look at how things work in terms of the way they have to be done from a procedural standpoint. 
You're going to learn about legal research, writing, and analysis, another program differentiator for University of Miami. You'll be given real-time legal research access to both Lexis and Westlaw. Those are the two legal research databases used by the majority of firms. Before cases are even released for publication, they're available Lexis and Westlaw. You have full access to Lexis and Westlaw, including more than our University of Miami law students have with what you gain access to here as part of the paralegal program. You're going to learn about authority and citing, law library and book research, electronic legal research, legal citing. So you all cringe when you hear MLA and APA. In law, we use Blue Book, so it's very important to understand how to locate cases and how to cite them correctly, especially if you work in an appellate capacity. The appellate courts don't accept briefs unless they're properly formatted and cited. You're going to learn about litigation. We're going to carry all the way through a litigation matter. Everybody is going to be assigned their own clients. You're going to do hands-on work, just like you would be given tasks from a supervising attorney in areas of civil law for your clients. You're going to bring that into life in foundations with those core skills demonstrated in your written work for your client. And then you're going to do the same in all of the law blocks, which we'll talk about shortly and look at some more specific examples. You're going to learn about commencing litigation, responding to it, discovery to parties, discovery to non-parties. That's the information exchange process where the majority of the litigation time is spent in the cases. You're going to learn about alternate dispute resolution, calendaring, pretrial readiness, briefs, post-judgment appeals, and of course, how to find a job and how to present your, yourself well with your resume and your cover letter. Another differentiator for University of Miami's law it, paralegal certificate program is the law blocks. What this program offers you is a paralegal perspective into the key areas of civil law and criminal law to give you core foundational knowledge in any area of law that you would encounter in your professional pursuits. So law block one is torts, contracts, and business. Law block two is real estate, foreclosure, and eviction, and bankruptcy. Law block three is elder and health care, trust in the state's family. And law block four is employment, worker law, immigration, criminal law, and criminal procedure. So the material that you're given for those law blocks is like a seminar boot camp format written specifically for all for paralegal levels. So each one of those law block areas of law is one class. So we'll look a bit more at that in a few moments. Again, this program is offered live online and online. So Normally, when we're not in a pandemic, you would be in the classroom at the university. But because we are in a pandemic right now, we want to make sure everybody is safe and you can still accomplish what you want to accomplish with two program formats. You can opt to enroll in the live class that will be held by WebEx, just like we're doing here today with your instructors on webcams presenting to you just as they would in the classroom. And then you a fully online program option as well, which has the pre recorded lectures. Again, the material is the same regardless of the program format you opt to enroll in. So, in the virtual paralegal zone, everything is anchored. So, throughout your electronic supplemental resources on the VPZ, which is what we refer to the virtual paralegal zone as, and in all of your reading, which is provided you in an ebook format. You do not have to purchase any books for this class. All of the materials that you're, you will learn from are provided to you as part of your tuition, in addition to your Lexus and your Westlaw access. So you'll see these icons anchored throughout your virtual web-based study support and your books. So you'll always see when you're encountering an anchor concept, an ethics area, a task that would be a paralegal task, a virtual right resource, your e-chapters, a critical thinking area, 
So these will give you a sense of understanding what you're looking at by the visual and by the content. So again, my formal welcome to you into the virtual paralegal zone. This is your path to the paralegal profession that extends beyond the classroom into that online environment that supports learning with resources, program documents, interactive study tools, supplemental content, content and virtual skills connected to your success in the form of resource centers. So this is one of the screens that you'll see in the virtual paralegal zone. This is your virtual paralegal office. This is where you'll access your ebook for foundations and for your law block. In addition to accessing your ebooks here, you can access all of the PowerPoints that your instructors will be utilizing to their classes. For those who are online, the presentations are presented with the PowerPoints for those who will be taking on ground with WebEx or Zoom classes, you will be able to download your PowerPoints to prepare for your lectures each week. So again, the ebook is accessible to you through the VPZ. It can be accessed remotely. This is an example of what the ebook will look like that you're able to access. Chapters are broken out by all of the foundation areas and the law blocks. That's also how your program schedule and structure work. Everything aligns and everything is accessible to you in the VPZ. Welcome to the virtual conference room. This too is a screen that you'll see in the VPZ. This is where you will access your supervising attorney. So everybody in the ground class will be assigned a supervising attorney. You will enter here by clicking on supervising attorney directory. There you will click on the name of your supervising attorney. And when you enter your supervising attorney, you will see the clients that you are assigned to work on for foundations and for your law block. This is also where you'll access your assignments and you will take your tests online as well. There are windows during which you will enter your tests. The tests are accessible to you through the VPZ for completion during those test windows, which are on your program schedule. What you're seeing here is the screen when you click on supervising attorney on the top left. Those are all of the attorney's names. On the bottom right is where you see one example of a foundation's client file. Again, very real to life, very similar to how you might get a client assignment working for a lawyer. We also understand that you are studying to be paralegals and you need the resources to set you up for success to learn how to do it well. So we give you all of those resources here in the VPZ. We'll see if you're assigned Susie Stevens that you have a series of 12 assignments. You'll also see that eight of them have templates for you and the other four do not because they have specific instructions and you don't need templates to complete them. Over further to the right, those are all of the Word files that you'll utilize for the instructions for your assignments and for your templates. So we set you up for success by giving you something very similar to what you would receive in a law office so that you can complete that progressive building block work for your client based on what your supervising attorney has assigned you, utilizing the Word files that we give you as resources. So again, we're preparing assignments like client interview questions, a demand letter, a complaint and summons, discovery to a party, discovery to a non-party, a complex motion towards the end of your foundation studies, and a brief and notice of appeal. So you can also access resources here where you'll see all of Attorney Aberdeen's client files. So that's your client for foundations and your four clients for law block. So your assignments are given to you very much like you might receive them in a law office because we do everything virtually even in our office. So even if we're talking to somebody whose cubicle is outside our door to the right, we often send emails because that's just the way it works when things are hectic and we need to communicate information quickly. This is the way you receive your assignments. So here is an example of what you'll see 
screen in the virtual paralegal zone when you're given your task from your supervising attorney for your client. Again, very lifelike, trying to get you ready to make that transition from your studies into work or advancement in the legal field. What you're seeing here is the virtual paralegal zone navigation hub. All of those cogs are clickable. So FAQs are a compilation of commonly asked questions. Again, the idea is to set you up for success and make this very seamless for you in terms of utilizing the technology and the resources that are in place to help to supplement your studies and give you those tools needed for you to be successful. At the finish line, you will have an electronic portfolio, which we'll look a bit more closely at shortly. There you will place all of the written work that you've done based on your instructor feedback. The idea being that you can showcase your skill set to a potential employer for purposes of showing them what you're capable of doing for them if they give you the job. We've heard from many lawyers in the legal community how well prepared our graduates are, and they basically communicated to us that they feel that this e-portfolio represents between one to two years of experience on the job based on the complexity of the skills that you're demonstrating in the work that you're creating, including the utilization of Lexis and Westlaw, the proficiency certificates that you earn showing that you're proficient in those two real-time legal research databases, the complex motion and brief that you prepare citing primary binding authority. And I know that sounds like a mouthful and I'm sure to some of you, you're going, wow, that's a lot in such a short period of time. It's not, it's very manageable. It's set up in a way that is chunked in a time paced manner that makes it completely manageable for you to be able to stay on track. The resources are all there for you to set you up for success. Many of our students are full time working in a field, whether it's law or another field. Many have families, children. I'm sure they're virtually schooling their children as well. And the feedback that we're getting is this program is so well organized and so well structured that they know exactly what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. They have the ability to get ahead if they'd like to do so, and if not, the pacing of the program is very much commensurate with being able to run life to that extent and still complete your studies in a way that you can be successful and get the most out of the program possible. There's extensive web study support for you. There's a virtual research center, a virtual writing center, and a virtual career center with loads of resources to set you up for success in those areas. So I'm never gonna say anything's impossible because what I thought was impossible, I've learned in life is not. So we have anticipated as many of the potential questions and resources that would be needed for success in this program. And they're all threaded throughout this hub accessible in all of these cogs. What you're seeing here is an example of an introductory screen for one of your foundations chapters, your starting line introduction to the paralegal profession, role of the paralegal law and legal system. You will always know for each chapter what you're going to learn, what your objectives are. The idea is we want to ensure you know what your takeaways are at the finish line of chapter one. So we start by grounding you in clarity to make sure you have those objectives visible to you. We also show you exactly what you're going to cover in that chapter broken out by pieces. So this outline corresponds with the ebook, which corresponds with the study support. So you have overview notes in your web-based study support that supplement the material in your ebook. These are a few examples. And here you see that icon that we talked about at the beginning of everything that anchors together in the VPZ. You have lots of interactive study tools. So this is just one example of an interactive glossary. We talked about the importance of speaking the language of law. This interactive glossary helps you with that by introducing you to core terminology in the law in an interactive study tool. 
This too is an interactive study tool. Again, the idea to make learning fun and to take every learning style into consideration. So this is about paralegal tasks and what those might look like. Again, remember this is chapter one, so it's introductory in nature. Another example of a study tool that you'll see in the VPZ, you spin the wheel, it lands on a, an area of the wheel. We could call it our virtual wheel of fortune of paralegals, and it will teach you about those areas on the wheel. Again, just another way to bring learning to life. Also in law, so much is visual and so many concepts are better understood when you look at them mapped out like a flow chart. This is one example. There's a lot going on in this interactive, which you'll appreciate when you enroll in the program and you dig in and you're going, okay, this completely helps me understand the source of law, substantive and procedural distinctions, private and public law. This is basically the overview of the legal system consolidated into one flowchart. So this is all clickable. It's a great visual to help you with some of those core areas at the outset. This too is another really powerful study tool. In law, we look to statutes. Statutes are passed by our legislature. Sometimes they sound weird because they're written in a way that sounds like they're but every word in a statute matters. Statutes are broken out into pieces or components. We call those in law elements. So understanding what the breakpoints are in those statutes is very important because every one of those elements has to be proven to either the criminal or the civil standard of proof. This slide helps you learn how to break a statute out into elements into pieces. So each element that you click on in this interactive study tool shows you that statutory language, it's, which is the example that's being utilized and how to break it out into elements. Ethics as well, my apologies for that, is another area that, as I mentioned, is very impactful and very important. This program prides itself on making sure paralegals understand ethics parameters it's also incredibly important to us lawyers that the paralegals know ethical boundaries because at the end of the day, the lawyer is responsible for the paralegal's conduct. So a lawyer that you're going to work for in the legal profession really wants to know that you understand the Florida Bar Rules of Ethics, that you've been taught what those parameters are and that you fully understand the importance of adhering to them. We give you lots of embedded examples of ethics situations that could be encountered by paralegals and how to work through those so that you can place yourself in a position and anticipate the correct decision, check your knowledge, and recalibrate if you went in the wrong direction. Because it's definitely more important to do that here than it is to make a mistake when you're working in a law office. As I mentioned, we have lots of resources in place to guide you through your studies. This is one example that walks you through a template and how to start making edits to that template as you're learning those written skills in that aggressive building block approach, preparing those assignments for your assigned clients. What you see here are five file cases full of even more templates. Every one of those file cabinets opens, you'll see tabs in them, and you're able to download all of the templates from those tabs in addition to the templates that you're given, in addition to the extensive templates that you have access to on Lexis and Westlaw. So trust me, I can assure you there's no shortage of templates available to you here in this program to learn how to do something the right way and do it well. As I mentioned, you have real-time legal research access to key databases in Lexis Advanced and Westlaw. In addition to access, oh, you're welcome. Thank you for joining us. In addition to access to Lexis and Westlaw, you will be able to demonstrate proficiencies in both of those areas by earning proficiency certificates which you'll add to your e-portfolio to showcase your skill set of advanced skills in both Lexis and Westlaw, which may not mean a lot to you right now, but they mean a ton to practicing attorneys 
who want to know that they can just give you a username and password password to Lexis and Westlaw, and away you go. You can conduct legal research when they give you an issue to research for them. So these are just a few screens from Lexis and Westlaw. Again, a program differentiator for University of Miami in the access that you're given to these programs. And these are examples of the screens that you'll see as you're entering and working through your legal research proficiency certificates. As I mentioned at the start, we prepare you well for that job search, whether it's initially entering the legal profession or looking to make advancements. There are excellent resources in place for you for resume writing and to help you compile all of that written work that you've done to showcase that in the form of an electronic portfolio, which can be provided to a potential employer with an electronic link. You will have access to that at the finish line of the program, and you are able to continue to build and update that e-portfolio link for utilization as you continue to advance in your career. So, at the finish line of the University of Miami Certificate Program, you will be able to demonstrate proficiency in applying ethics rules in the legal environment, navigating procedural rules for case management and compliance, conducting electronic legal research utilizing Lexis and Westlaw, constructing legal analysis based on law interpretation, drafting legal documents, using legal technology, exploring key components of 14 substantive areas of law, those are your law blocks, and demonstrating fundamental and substantive specific skill sets associated with career readiness. So in addition to your studies at the University of Miami's Paralegal Certificate Program, if you'd like to continue your studies at the program finish line, the university offers concentrations, which are online programs focused at more in-depth studies in the main areas of law. Those offerings are in immigration, litigation, contracts, torts, ADR, wills, trusts, and estates, real estate, business, bankruptcy, criminal law and criminal procedure, intellectual property, entertainment, family, and employment law. So to recap, a solid application-based paralegal education open the door to many opportunities in a field that's projected for growth over the next seven years. So if we look at the U.S. Department of Labor statistics, this is a really great career profession for you to look to enter or advance in. The projections are for growth and the salaries are solid. So when you see challenges across the board, so for example, with everything going on with the pandemic, unequivocally, you will see firms hiring in bankruptcy and foreclosure. It's, it's inevitable with small businesses closing, large businesses closing, businesses reorganizing, and people just unable to pay their mortgages right now. It's part of the ebb and flow. It's tragic, it's horrible, but lawyers are needed more than ever in certain areas of law to help people understand what their rights are and to protect them to the extent possible in challenging times. You're also likely gonna see divorces go up. So there are certain areas of law that will you will see booms in across the board. This is an example of just some of the different sectors and some of what that employment industry growth might look like and wages. So when you think about the paralegal profession, Think about it in a vast way, because there are so many places that you could end up working, so many beyond what you might have been thought. So in terms of potential career directions, you have public sectors. So you may go to work for the county, for the state, for the U.S. government in a civil context, like the county attorney's office here in Miami-Dade or in Broward, the attorney general's office. There are so many different places where you may end up working. You may end up working as a judicial assistant for a judge. You could end up working in the legal department of Miami-Dade Police Department. So many places that you never thought staff legal departments do. And there are tons of county, city, municipal, and state jobs out there in a civil and criminal context. The Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office the Miami-Dade Public Defender's Office, 
Same thing for Broward, the U.S. Attorney's Office for Prosecutions, the U.S. Public Defender's Office, so many public sector opportunities. So if you're looking for good pay, solid benefits, and good retirement, public sector would be a great opportunity to explore. There's also private sector corporate opportunities. Tons of corporations have in-house legal departments and they staff with paralegals. Burger King, Royal Caribbean, all of those companies that are headquartered here in South Florida, they all have legal departments. So many companies have legal departments where you could pursue a career as well. Then of course you have traditional law firms, you have small ones, big ones, multi, multi-location, international based firms, so many different firm sizes, so many different salary opportunities. So really, I always encourage my students, think about what's most important to you. What are you looking for? Do you want to work a ton of hours and make a ton of money with great opportunity for growth? Do you want to go home every day at five o'clock and focus on really good benefits like holiday pensions and and accrued leave and everything else then think about what's important to you and fits with your life now and in the future and then from there you can match that to job opportunities in this profession because they really are so expansive that's some of what you go through with your instructor when you're doing your resume and your cover letter because that's channeled towards what your interests are it's also why we present those 14 areas of law to you in the law blocks. That will really help you to understand what each of those areas of law looks like to help to channel your interests even better to see where you might want to work. And also if you might want to pursue a concentration at the finish line of the paralegal program. So we encourage you to take all of these differentiating factors, all of this cutting edge technology offered here through the university. Miami's paralegal program and make the commitment because it's solid. This is a tried and true proven program with an impeccable reputation in the legal community. We have employers coming to us consistently asking for our graduates because they know what they're capable of contributing when they leave our doors, whether they're virtual or brick and mortar, and they enter the legal profession. So elevate your opportunities, leverage your knowledge, and make that commitment. So our next start is fall. We do have our courses running in a Tuesday, Thursday format starting on September 22nd. That is our traditional ground class. Those Zoom classes will be held Tuesdays and Thursdays from six to eight o'clock. Attendance is taken based on your Zoom attendance. It will be interactive. It will be just like you're in a classroom taught by live instructors. We do have six different instructors that will teach through and you'll meet all of those instructors and see them in the Zoom sessions. You also have the ability to enroll in the fully online program. Our starts are monthly for those programs and as well the concentrations, the list of the offerings is there on your screen and those as well begin on a monthly basis. So at this point, I'm going to turn it back over to Jonathan to speak a bit more about the program. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Tammy, for that information. Um, so for those of you interested in joining the program, um, as Tammy mentioned, we have two options, the online self-paced class, which is uh, $6,995. And again, that one starts the first of each month. Then we've got the live online sessions, and that one is five nine nine five. Okay, um, if you're interested in one of the uh, area concentrations that she discussed, um, those are two thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars. Yep, and as mentioned, the, for the online self paced courses, the next one is going to be October 1st. Um, if you're interested in doing the live online sessions class, September 22nd is the next start. So you're at a unique position here on September 10th. You can choose to do um, either one of those and get started here within the next few weeks. 
Keep in mind, space is limited. So once the class is full, we will shut down the registration on our site and you won't be able to register. Um, we won't have another live online sessions class for 2020. Um, and then for the um, area concentration course, that one also starts the first of each month. So October 1st would be your next opportunity there. To register, you can visit the website listed here, continue.miami.edu slash paralegal. All right, so at this time, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look at some of the questions that were asked. If you have any questions about tuition, um, anything like that, please feel free to go ahead and type it in the here. So I am gonna go back through some of the questions that are being here in the chat. So one of the questions is, what classes do I take for intellectual property law? That you will take only intellectual property law when you take the intellectual property law concentration. There's nothing else besides that that you'll be studying. You study specifically that concentration area. It begins with advanced legal research specific to that particular area and then goes from there to build that knowledge. It is paralegal specific, but it is advanced paralegal specific in that particular area. There's a question asking, I'm from Argentina. Is it possible to take the course from here? It absolutely is. You most certainly can. There's no geographic restrictions for you to be able to enroll in this class. Somebody asked how realistic is it to take this program while working full time? Completely realistic. It is built in a way that considers a full time workload and life. It's very manageable to be able to accomplish that. Is the practice area concentration cost in addition to the program cost? So the law blocks are part of the paralegal program. The concentration classes are separate certificates that you earn. Those are separate enrollments and separate tuition from the base paralegal program. So if you choose to continue your studies to that more advanced level, that is a second enrollment. This is an amazing course if you wanna to go to law school. Many are, not many, some of our students have that goal or are already admitted to law school. I can tell you from having gone to law school that had I had this, I would have done so much better my first year of law school just from the legal research parts of this, the writing portions and getting that understanding of those first year law classes like torts because before, before that, I didn't even know what that was. So those areas and what you do here will definitely make your first year of law school much more pleasurable. <laughs> so yes, I very much encourage you. And we've gotten amazing feedback from those who have gone on to law school. We actually had um, a speaker from who graduated our program who became a lawyer speak about how well prepared he was as a result of attending this program. Uh, yes, you do take all the law blocks because it's very much boot camp format. So every law block is actually one class. The reading is specific to what you learn in that one class. And, um, and it, it's important for you to have that foundational knowledge and those base application level skills, which is why we partitioned the program out like that. Yes, this program will help you understand tremendously what legal documents look like. In the law blocks, you will be introduced to templates specific to all of those areas of law. So even if you're not assigned to work on some of the because everybody has a different template, you still have access to all of the other templates that you can download as keep as a resource for yourself. I'm trying to make sure that I didn't miss any questions. Many of them are about law school. Creation of the online course. So the ground course is structured in a format where you have two classes a week. 
The online course has a similar structure and format, so it's almost the same in duration, stretched out a bit longer by about a month. But because of the holiday that falls in this September run, the finish lines for both of those, if you were to start in this in the uh, um, in the October 1st online class would finish very close to when the ground class would finish. There's a question about a payment plan. Jonathan, I'll let you take that one. Yeah, absolutely. We do have a payment plan option. Um, if you're interested in either one of our courses, um, actually, um, do have payment plan options. We also have uh, options if you're interested in utilizing a student loan, um, a private student loan. Uh, we can help you get connected with the lender, give you some options there, some information. Um, you do have uh, plenty of options. You can also speak with an enrollment advisor. They can walk you through any one of these options. There's a question from a member of the Florida Bar who has been out of practice since for a while and is looking to re-enter the legal profession, asking if this would be a good refresher. Absolutely it will, because you will learn up-to-date law in the law block areas. You'll be given Lexis and Westlaw training and be able to refresh those skills and see where things have gone with those legal research databases and what's out there. You will also prepare complex written work, which will give you the ability to get back into forms, learn about the updated rules, learn about the updated rules of ethics, learn about all of those updated areas. So it absolutely will be a great refresher to get you reading, writing, and researching again. I would do it if I had been out of practice just to get all of those connections again and be able to tie up those areas and, and refresh those skills. Is the practicum part of the program? We actually embed the practicum as part of the program because the written work that you're doing is really what you would be doing hands on in a law office. So you are not required to do anything outside of our doors to graduate the program. There are some students who choose to reach out to the legal community about volunteering while they're studying to just get some hands-on experience. That really is individual to you. It is not a requirement at all for the program to reach that program finish line and earn your certificate. No, <laughs> I'm sure that it would be great to have this replace the LSAT because if I recall correctly, and I still am traumatized by that test, um, it's not fun, <laughs> but it's definitely a gateway that's important for you if you want to go to law school, but this program does not replace taking the law school admissions test. In terms of the ability to utilize the university facilities, I will turn that one over to Jonathan. So right now, nothing is open um, for our <laughs> students anyway. So um, you is football tonight, so it's all about yeah. you guys. Go Kings! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, so you you won't actually have access to to campus, and by the time that we're done, and you know we have Christmas break coming up here after November, so um, you you're not going to have the opportunity to really be on campus very much, unfortunately, um, with this section. So. So there's also a question saying, I work for a health plan and legal services. I believe I need this knowledge, which program is most appropriate for me? Well, you would take the core paralegal program, which would teach you foundations and those 14 areas of law. And then if you wanted more advanced skills and studies after that, you can explore the concentrations in terms of what would best align with the work that you do. I was looking for the list, but it's too small for me to be able to read it right now. So in terms of the concentrations, if you wanted to keep going for concentration, I would say tort law would make sense or contracts because both of those areas overlap extensively in anything that you would be doing. Also, wills, trusts, estates, and elder law, depending on the sector that you're involved with, or business law. So it really depends on what the focus is of your work 
there. But those are all additional opportunities and we'd be able to look more closely at what you're doing and what might best align at that point. In terms of providing assistance with employment, we do help you with your resume, with your cover letter. We give you resources for job searches. Many of our instructors write recommendation letters and every time a potential employer comes to us seeking our graduates, we post that information to our classes so that the students are able to utilize that to apply for jobs. For purposes of the certificate and what this looks like in comparison to a paralegal degree holder, there are lots of different options for paralegals. Para, the paralegal profession is not regulated in that there's no requirement to have an additional credential or an additional certification. Most lawyers don't even realize what those are, nor do they care about them. I can tell you that it was never something that I looked for as I hired, and you can take a look at job postings. You'll rarely see the requirement in a job posting. So for purposes of preparedness, this certificate covers more in terms of enabling you to be prepared with the skill set needed to be successful in comparison to an associate's degree. Those associate degrees have one course focused on each of those areas of law that you're covering in a boot camp format. The difference is that our content is written specifically to paralegal skills and teaches you what you need to know as a paralegal to be able to speak all of those areas of law and understand what would be expected of you entry level for those areas. So you're covering the same content in terms of topics. You're just covering it in a very application based skill building skill demonstration approach. So you're very, very well prepared in terms of whether an intern a good idea. It's always great to get experience if you have the ability to do so and you have the time and the desire. Is it necessary? No. But would it be a great idea? I'll never discourage that. I always think it's great if you can to get a few hours in here or a few hours in there. So how does the grading work? It is very transparent in terms of how the grading works. At the, at the start, you're given a, a web-based orientation. Everything is broken out about the requirements. The grades are broken out based on written assignments versus tests. You have practice tests embedded for every single chapter to prepare you for the graded tests. Your grade book carries a grade weighting so you see where you are after every one of your grades that's posted. You have, there's a grade for foundations, a grade for law block one, a grade for law block two, a grade for law block in a grade for law block four. The requirement is to pass the graded components with a weighted average of 70% or above to pass the program. The program is ultimately pass fail. And if you pass all of the program components, you earn your certificate. That was a mouthful, and I think I have not missed any of the questions. So if I did miss a question, please repost it so we can make sure we get everybody's question answered. Is there a promo code we can utilize for payments? Jonathan? Awesome. So we're actually wrapping up here then with that question because that's exactly what we're going to close with um, the goodies. So you can actually get your 10% tuition fee waiver um, by speaking with one of our enrollment advisors at the number listed here, 305 284 4000. Uh, what you're going to need to have that um, tuition fee waiver applied is an account created on our website. So feel free to visit continue.miami.edu slash paralegal. On the top right hand corner, you can hit log in and create a new account. If you don't already have an account, you can add whichever class that you're interested in right there into your cart and then go ahead and give the enrollment advisors a call and they'll go ahead and apply that discount for you. Once you've got that discount applied, you can see more accurately what exactly your payments are going to be. You can pay directly right from your account. 
Um, and of course, again, if you're interested in utilizing a loan, you can also let an advisor know at that time and they can help you with getting that process started. Okay. Um, and uh, lastly, we do ask that um, you guys have been a great audience. If you can please complete uh, the short survey that's going to be available to you after the webinar, we would greatly appreciate it. Um, um, that that's pretty much it for me. Tammy, did you want to add anything else? I did not other than thanking you for your interest in the University of Miami's paralegal program and giving us your time to learn more about what differentiates this program from some of the other options that are out there. So again, thanks everybody for your time. Stay well, and we look forward to seeing you at the finish line here at the University of Miami's paralegal certificate program. Have a wonderful day, everybody.